Hello everyone, this is Mike Brightman with Lumion, and today I'm going to show you how to create renders in Lumion 10 in just three minutes. Let's get started. As architects and designers, we don't always have a lot of time to spend on rendering images for our projects. However, with Lumion's new five-step system, you can easily create photorealistic renders in just a few minutes. Step one, select a 3D model. To start, click on New and select the 3D model of your project. Lumion supports many types of 3D formats, but in this case, I'll be using a SketchUp model. Feel free to test it with your own model and follow along. Step two, select a template. In Lumion 10, there are several new templates that have been added to the collection. These include the forest environment, the tropical environment, and the suburban environment. I'll choose the suburban environment template. It will take a while to load depending on the complexity of the template and the size of your model. There we go. You can see that our model has been loaded and placed in the origin of the template. Sometimes you may need to move your model around a bit so that it's in a good spot, but I'm pretty happy with the position of my model, so I can click here to move it back to the original position. It's important to note that this template only works with houses similar to this size or smaller. If it's too big, then it will look out of place. This is a new style of templates that includes assets such as trees, cars, and people already added to the scene. So we're ready to create images immediately after import. Step three, creating images. To create images, click here to go to the photo mode. Here you can see that this template already has a few different views of the model set up, such as a daytime view, a nighttime view, an aerial view, and another view from a different angle. In addition, you can always add new views by clicking on the store camera button. Step four, adding and making changes to the styles. The views included in the template already have a style applied to them, so you can render it immediately, but feel free to add a new style or make changes to it, such as adjusting the sun angle. But in this case, I'll change the real skies to a different image. This sunset sky looks good. You may have noticed that Lumion will render our image whenever we click on the preview window. This is possible because of a new feature in Lumion 10 called High Quality Preview. This really helps us know what it will look like when it's finished rendering. You can turn it on and off by going to the settings and click on this icon here. I like this new feature a lot, so I will leave it on. Next, let's add some styles to the image. Here you can see that the custom style is selected. If you click on it, you'll see that Lumion has provided lots of presets for you to try, such as realistic, interior, daytime, color sketch, watercolor, and more. You can try any of these for your render. For example, let's try the realistic style. As you can see, a style is essentially a stack of effects that is optimized for quick use. Alternatively, you can copy the effects settings from one of the previous images and paste them on a new one. Step five, render. When you're happy with your views, you can click here to start rendering your images. Here you can choose the quality as well as the additional outputs. You also have the option to render multiple images. And there we go. That's how you can create architectural renders in Lumion 10 in just three minutes. I think my renders turned out pretty good and I hope yours did too. If you like this video, then check out the other two videos in this series. In those, I cover new features and a more in-depth workflow to show you what can be done when you have more time for rendering. That's all for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and please comment below and let me know what you think of Lumion 10. I'll see you in the next tutorial.